Hello, people of YouTube, and I am so tired. Um, right now, I'm uploading this to the media fire, and what it is, this is, is it's a WinRAR file. It's just right here. And this right here is 1.2.5. It is my backup copy from Minecraft when I was modding up my Minecraft. What you do is you take us, all of this, you open up, let me type in here, app, you type in app, data, and it will bring up this folder right here. Open up your Minecraft, delete whatever in there, and copy paste that into there, and you'll have mod loader already installed. You'll have mod loader, Rimji's minimap, and Zeppelin mod, because that's what I last backed up. It's better than having no 1.2.5, and the reason why I'm doing this is because all the mods now are all upgraded to 1.2.5, which I think was completely crap since we're at 1.3.2 now. Yeah, I ignore that. Right now, I have SimuCraft. I'm not going to do it on this world. I clicked the wrong world, so whenever it loads, um, this is the crappy version of it. Hang on. Yeah, welcome to SimuCraft. This is the one I've been working on the most. I'm going to show you guys it. I do have single player commands. Oh yeah, that will come with it. So basically you have a... You will have a lot of stuff coming with it. You will have single player commands. You will have RimG's map loader for 1.2.5. This is all 1.2.5. You'll have mod loader and all that type of good stuff. Zeppelin mod. Anyway, this is SimuCraft. William started playing. It. Yes. I think he already finished it. No way. Ah, oh, we got a little bug right here. All right. William. Right now, this block right here that I clicked on. Hang on. Cancel. This block right here. This is a building block. You basically get it and you place it down and it builds stuff. Well, you don't. It doesn't build stuff by itself. You have to hire a builder. Which, when you first start the mod, one should wander into your territory. And once it wanders into your territory, you hire them, build them a house, and basically it builds a house. Anyway, I hired him. I'm choosing him to build the industrial depot, which is what I was building. You set a chest beside this block, and he will go into the block or the nearest block of chest near you. Anyway, I have already built a mansion, a, and a lot of houses. Basically, this whole row, except for the last two on the very end, are all houses and stuff that you can build. And at the top left corner, you will see SimuCraft. Population 4 and SimuCraft credits, 91.41. It'll go up as soon as the next day comes. Seriously, woman, stop bothering me. Okay, so basically, this is the pig farming area. She is the pig farmer. She'll farm pigs. This is the butcher shop. I'm lagging a bit, so excuse me for that. That guy, if you can see his name right back through there, is the butcher guy. This right here is a house. It's the colored house and all that type of stuff. Anyway... Basically, in there, you it's best to play this mod on, whoop, wall. It's best to play this mod on creative, either creative or have survival with too many items. I have too many items. I love it. It's a good mod. It does come with that 1.2.5 download that I put on Mediafire. It will be up in the video's description. But you can change yourself on and out of creative mode. You can... With SimuCraft, I do not recommend using these commands right here, the rain, the set time stuff in the easy mode. I have used this, I have, oh wow, I cannot speak. I have used the delete mode. I've turned that on and off and deleted a lot of stuff. Anyway, um, back to the mod. You basically have that. This is the other type of block. It's basically, like it says, the building control panel. It shows you who lives there, what type of building it is and is it under construction still? Oh well someone's living there so I don't really care too much. Um so yeah, that's basically that stuff. I have not figured out the building 
not the building, but the uh, mining and the other stuff that comes with it. Let me see. The solar panel is usually not for anything right now. You don't really use it much. It does, like say, keep, like it says on the form thingy, it does keep rain away. Nobody cares about it. The sim control panel, I just showed you that. It was basically the building control panel. I've showed you the building constructor. The mining box and the farming box. The far if you set up the farming box, it farms for you. It you could basically create a worker, and he builds a farm and farms the stuff and everything, which I love it. It's pretty good, so you don't have to do it yourself. The mining box is, I'm guessing, the same way. I haven't used that, so that's the markers. You got to set up markers for the mining box, and I think for the farming box, I don't know. I never did. I think I think it's the same way, like that. I'm not really sure. I don't use them too. I've basically this is basically a standard mod thing, mod review, not mod thing. I am showing you. This is the lumber mill. Well, no, that's the building. That's the way you basically you build your supplies and all that type of stuff. Building supply materials. It, he ba this guy right here, Brian Tell. If you'd stop running away, Brian. Hate he sells and buys building materials. So if you want extra semi credits, just sell him a bunch of stuff from your creative menu, which is basically cheating. But I'm not saying that. Um, this right here is a lumber mill. I opened up the back of my wall territory. That way he can get out and mine some trees. And what I did is outside here. Let me land because this flying is not really good. What I did here was I built one of the Biggest four by four, what was it? Two by two trees that go straight up, and he's basically mined that. So there's probably a lot of wood in there. I would suggest building this lumber mill. One of the first few things you build. Cause, well, actually, yeah, you want to build your houses. You want to get at least like four or five people, and then you want to build a pig farm, like I built over there, and then a butcher place, which I'll show you. Okay, no, I can't. I can't show you. Anyway, if you go into the center one, um, not industrial, or, um, commercial. I think it's commercial. You go and build the butchery and right beside or any anywhere actually. You build pig farms. You could build cow farms. You could build sheep farms and all that type of stuff. Anyway, anything that gives you meat, and you take it. Oh, excuse me, my throat's messing up. You take it and you build a butchery, and right beside the butchery, or not beside it, if you just go in there and you you hire somebody, like, I'll show you. This is the lumber mill. It's the same way as all. But you go down to the panel, you right click, and it says hire lumberjack. And there would be names here, but I have nobody empty. That's everybody's working and doing stuff. Um, anyway, you do the same thing with the butchery and with the pig farm and they will start making meat and selling it to the people which will keep them fed and stuff like if I run up to him I'm not lagging I'm just using one hand to hold up my mic it's a little bit hungry so probably after work or something he will go to the butchery and buy some meat and he will be well fed um I think I just crashed no I didn't just lag he is single he's a homeowner that's his stats what he's doing. He's a builder. Anyway, we do... Where was I? That will be the first part of that. If you're on survival and you're doing this, I suggest making the... the lumber shack too with all this. Then selling it at the building supply thing, which you'll need to make both. And then you'll get more semi credits. That'd be the fastest way to gain semi credit since you don't really sleep that much. Anyway, this has been a short, very tiny mod review of semi craft. I think it's a very cool mod. And hey there, sheep. This has been the Kennyman seven six six five showing you a little tiny mod review. I hope you like it. I hope you download it. And I definitely hope you guys that want one point two point five back into your computer will download the media fire thing because it's very helpful um so that's it for now thank you for watching and stay tuned in for